So we're at Welsh Comic Con, or Wales Comic Con, sorry, with Mark Lucas from Buffy. Uh, he was uh, the boyfriend of Buffy the Vampire Star, I guess. For a and, minute. Uh, yeah, for a minute, yeah. And uh, an excellent addition to the crew and cast. Well, it was certainly, uh, I, I don't know, I think the jury's still out on excellent. Actually, it's not even out. People have decided. Not really. But, uh, <laughs> that said, um, it was a pretty, it was one of my very first jobs. It was certainly my first big job. You were a professional basketball player. Uh, I was. Well, yeah, yeah, Here, yeah. in Manchester. You really were in Manchester. We were based out of Manchester. Gosh, yeah. yeah. Isn't that amazing? Okay. Um, so it's kind of nice to be back in the area. Yeah. In my own neighborhood. Yeah. Um, but it was an amazing first job because it was such a nice group of people. They were extremely patient with me. Um, I do wish I was a little more seasoned and, and mature at the time to realize how good it was as opposed to in hindsight now yeah. knowing how great it was. Um, but obviously a great thing to be a part of. I saw your panel earlier with the other guys from the show and there was a lot of love in that room for you, Mark. Yeah, there was. I think time heals all wounds. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and it, it, it's nice to... I didn't do a con for the first 19 years. This is only my third one, I think. Yeah. And so I think that uh, it's been fun that the people that kind of grew up with Buffy, they've introduced it to their kids. And like I said, over time, people have that separation. I think the internet, a lot of things have changed how fans look at actors these days. And that wall's been broken. So yeah. they see it as a story and as an actor playing a part. And I think some of that changed. But it's still, it's such an emotional fan base. It's fun to talk to the, talk to the fans. That's fantastic. Now, listen, I want to talk to you about your role as Rodney in Night and Day with Tom Cruise and yeah. um, uh, Cameron Diaz. Yeah. What was that like? That was that was an amazing experience. Um, those two are who they are for a reason. They were they could not have been more collaborative and more normal and more professional and, and, and more fun. Honestly, we had such a good time on that. And um, I have to say that you know you you know you kind of have. You kind of have moments in your career where, you know, it's like I grew up watching Tom Cruise. And so you have moments in your career and what I do for a living where you're sometimes, you step out of your own body. And so the, the professional and trained actor in me was like appreciative that, that, that Tom said kind things to me and was cool after my days of work. And then the fan in me was saying, holy shit, I just got the need for speed high five from Tom Cruise. Uh, <laughs> and so uh, it was. And the filmmaker, James Mangold, I'm just such a huge fan of. He's it. a great he's, director. He's yeah. one of the greatest yeah. storytellers we have, to, we have out there, I think, today. And he's really, uh, he always pushes he always pushes the envelope and he makes sure that no matter what the story, whether it's a movie like that, whether it's Walk the Line, whether it's Logan, it doesn't matter. There's heart attached everything sure it's sure effects, I've seen all those films I did love them he's a great yeah, he's director a really yeah. a special storyteller yeah, yeah. and uh, just a word on um, your upcoming movies The Fix One Heart and Unearth is that right Unearth yeah um, mm. well the, un the Fix is a pilot that we that, that we just we finished shooting so we're kind of in that wait and see period of time to see yeah. what's happening there Unearth is a is a, uh, is a genre horror film that I'm, that I'm acting and, and producing that we're going to start filming in August um, in Pennsylvania, which is which is fun because that's my home state. So Brilliant. That, 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 that's nice to be at home then. It is, yeah. Um, and, and the other one, unfortunately, was one of those is one of those awful filmmaking stories where you hear that we shot twenty of our twenty five days and they lost financing and they had to stop filming. I'm very so sorry to hear that. To, they're trying to get the rest of it. It's a, it's a true story based on an unbelievable. Um, football coach in an unbelievable community who changes in the lives of incarcerated youth. And, and did you offer some of your sporting skills to that? I, I gave my best efforts, and so uh, I, w I was the coach. I've gotten to the age where I'm playing the coach and not the You're player You're playing the anymore. coach, right, <laughs> okay. And How so, old are you, Mark? Uh, that's good. I'm 46. 46? You're only six years older than me. Stop it. But, you know, yeah. it's uh, you've been uh, in the movie business since... Seems like forever, doesn't yeah, it? Gosh, yeah. yeah. What a wonderful career you must have had. You must have enjoyed every moment of it. I do enjoy every moment because I have a balance in it. Because yeah. otherwise, it can kind of take over. I got yeah. young kids and I got a family, and I've been able to make a living and kind of doing what I love. And I'm, I'm lucky that way for sure. It's been a pleasure to speak to you, Mark. Thank it's you very much indeed. Thank you.